the elbow's measurements are located on the upper extremity measurement form. On this form, you will need to complete steps 1 through 3 before measuring for the orthosis. Step 1. Select the appropriate product line for the patient, rental or EZ. Step 2. Select the affected side the jazz orthosis will be used on. Step 3. Choose the orthosis. For the elbow, if the patient is needing help with only extension, mark extension only. If the patient is lacking in both flexion and extension, leave this box blank. The step 4 box indicates the set of measurements required for that specific orthosis. The jazz elbow requires measurements A, B, C, E, F, G, and H. Finally, if the patient has any sensitive areas that cannot tolerate any pressure, such as sensitive scars, wounds, skin grafts, bony landmarks, or burns, please mark the location on the measurement guide graphic below. We will now begin measuring for the jazz elbow orthosis. Measurement A. Locate the largest point of the bicep and take a circumferential measurement at this point. Measurement B. Locate the largest point of the forearm and take a circumferential measurement at this point. Measurement C. Find the ulnar styloid, which is the wrist bone on the pinky side of the wrist, and measure one and a half inches proximally. From that point, take a circumferential measurement. Measurement E. Locate the axilla or armpit and the medial epicondyle. The medial epicondyle is the bony protuberance on the medial side of the elbow. Next, measure the distance between these two points. Measurement F. Measure the distance from the axilla or armpit to the crease created by the contact between the bicep and the forearm when the arm is flexed. Measurement G. Locate the crease on the forearm created by the contact between the bicep and forearm when the arm is flexed. Now locate the ulnar styloid. Now measure the distance between these two points. Measurement H. Locate the ulnar styloid and the lateral epicondyle. The lateral epicondyle is the bony protuberance on the lateral side of the elbow. Measure the distance between these two points. Lastly, please ensure all fields are filled in on your measurement form. You have now completed all the measurements for a jazz elbow orthosis.